Okay, hello friends. Uh, welcome to my second video. This video I will be unboxing some clocks that I ordered about a week ago. And uh, it is getting kind of late. It's uh, 15 after midnight. So it's been a long day. This little box has been sitting out down in the garage for uh, over 10 hours. I've been dying to break into it. I live in flyover country, so I don't have a lot of local places I can look for uh, old clocks. Um, so a lot of stuff I do, I order online. And uh, one thing about ordering online is you can't you know, physically put it in your hand or uh, turn the dials or anything or uh, test it out. It's kind of sight unseen other than a few pictures. So uh, this was a bit of a risk. And I bought this from a gentleman not on uh, Flea Bay or one of those other uh, like bidding sites. This one was on just a group discussion. And uh, he said he had some clocks. And I said, I want to buy some clocks. So I picked a t a 10 clocks from him. And I thought it'd be really fun for us to all just open these boxes together and uh, share the enjoyment and see how this turns out. So without further ado, uh, I need to find my knife. And uh, that's right here. Pardon the mess in the office here. I got to rearrange to fit all this stuff. But uh, if we live in a flower co over country, um, we're pretty rural and kind of sparsely populated in some of these areas. And uh, no matter how hard you try to find a clock, an old antique clock, you're, you're looking pretty hard. So um, you almost have to resort to just buying them online, which uh, sometimes you can find some really good ones. But other times you can find clocks that just... I had one clock that was shipped to me that was uh, missing one of the, uh, well, the, the, the uh, gear for the winding bell. Um, so it was like they parted out and then uh, sold it as parts and or repair. And, and uh, the clock will never work because it's missing that part. Uh, that, that uh, gear to, that runs the, the alarm bell. I'm trying to hold the other, well, not the other hand, but you know what I mean. Um, they did a surprising well job of packing this thing. Look at this, and each one of these is inside of a, of a bag, so that's kind of cool. So we'll um, put this in a safe spot over here. And I guess let's just lay these out on the desk. I can't think. Okay, we got all the clocks out of the box. Don't know the guy. I don't even know what it looks like. Um, his profile picture is a picture of a game board. I think it's a chess game board. I will say it did well pack a day. And uh, I'm pretty happy with that. This, I think, was one of the worst-looking clocks that he had in his group. But sometimes I fancy of those because it's a challenge. Uh, this appears to be a loud alarm, I think. Yeah, loud alarm. Uh, what is this? Hmm. Some, kind of, some kind of ticket. But uh, there you go, right there. Loud alarm. <sighs> Halfway, well, decent shape, I guess. It's not. It's got everything. Everything's there. But man, the, uh, the dial is uh, it's 
something to be desired there, but it definitely needs some TLC. So, there's our first clock. Uh, well, let's see. Working pretty well as far as oh, that's all the way wound. Okay, so it does wind. And she did start, so um, seems like it's working pretty well there. That's pretty nice. Let's see about the alarm side. So p.m. but the alarm is set for one o'clock so something's wrong there the the cheese wheel uh, is not set right with the pads though and the general shape of everything looks good so it'd be fun doing a video on fixing this clock so there you have it clock number one Just come back here and just tearing into these. Uh, just forget about the video. But who knows? Maybe somebody. I know I would enjoy uh, kind of going through an experience of buying some random clocks where you don't know the seller, you don't really know the condition of the clocks, and uh, you just take a bit of a risk. So um, yeah. So we'll see what happens here. Okay. So here we have. Another West Clocks. Now, some interesting things on this one. Uh, I guess the first thing is it is rusty. Rusty, rusty, rusty. Um, glass looks to be in good shape. The hands don't seem original to this clock. I think they put a different set of hands on those. And I see some color around the set, uh, time set, uh, sorry, the alarm set. Um, up there, so that doesn't appear to be original, which is kind of a bummer. So, um, it does have all the parts, and uh, this is an alarm, alarm as well. So let's uh, see how she winds here. Um, let's start with the alarm. It's, it's wound. And how about the time? Um, it feels... Feels dirty. Feels like it needs cleaned. Um, let's set the alarm and have it go off. Ooh, oh, those are ter ter terribly hard to turn. Let's have it have this thing spin around. Somebody made that wheel. Hmm. The alarm does not seem to work. The alarm should be going off right now. Okay. Well, that'd be a dead. We'll have to see what's wrong with that one. All right. Moving on. Moving on up. Moving on. Number 
three. Yeah, there's three clocks over there, but one was one of my original first one. Clock number three. So far. Kind of interesting. seems to be in good shape and man the dial looks immaculate I mean, there's a, a few little issues on the on the dial and the uh, little blemishes on the hands but i can handle that uh, any screws yes we are we got one little screw missing right there but we have the other one on the other side so this something's holding it together what is this say? No parts missing either, so this is looking promising. Let's see how she feels for this time so. Oh yeah. That's, that's nice. Uh, oh, this is interesting. Uh, how brassy that is. That doesn't look uh, original. Right here. Is that any better? That doesn't look right. Something they soldered together. All right, so let's see. What I'm tell me, tell me what I'm on here. Ooh, tell me, is this a chime? Let's hope this is a chime. So let's set it up for. Let's set it for three o'clock. Let's put three o'clock and see. with this one, all right. Clock number three. Okay, so we're moving on to clock number four. Keep this thing rolling. Keep you guys late. It's uh, only about like, 10 minutes already. Skimpy and you know, the paint color scheme there, it's uh, been chipping away. I uh, don't see any, any screws missing. Let's see, the key screws are all there. Yep, bottom screws are all there. Um, back side's looking pretty darn good. Uh, let's see how she sounds on the arm. The arm sounds promising. How about the time? Now, this little loose here might be uh, just a quick repair on that to get that done. How about the tippy top? Yep, she's ticking. She is a ticker. So, I think this is a style four, if I'm not mistaken. That's probably one of my favorite styles. Still want to understand what this thing is for. Can you hang it from that or what that is? What is the use of this thing? Do you know? Feel free to comment and uh, down below. And uh, let me know. I appreciate that. Okay, so that is four clocks down. Six clocks to go, if you can see it. So. Another loud alarm. I'm going to have a bunch of these in my collection. Which reminded 
do with them all. Um, this one has some scratches on the face, it looks like, on the dial. Uh, glass seems to be in good shape. Um, missing any screws? Nope, one there, one there, one on top. Uh, this is a bummer. Um, oh, that's just a screw. That's just a screw that's missing, so the, I thought that might have been a knob broke out of there. This one here. This one is a knob broke somewhere. sure how much of the camera I lost on that one. Maybe I'll just redo this last clock that I just opened because I think my camera wasn't videoing. So this is a West Clock America. Um, I hadn't planned to get this one, but I just decided because it looked pretty dirty and um, just hard to see. But this turns out to be a beautiful clock. Look at it. It's a complete not seeing any missing parts. Uh, looks like the legs match each other. Um, I did just run the alarm. Check this out. The alarm works. Time goes one. So, um, and the uh, time set knobs work too. So right now it's set for nine o'clock. Let's move this to. Let's move this to 10, to midnight. All right, perfect. And then we will turn the alarm on. Okay, alarm is on, but it's not going off, which is a good sign. And we'll just move this along. off the screen here, hope you don't mind. We'll get to it. Oh wow. Yeah, yeah, okay, yep. This is got a little bit of wear on it, of course. Um, yeah, I don't even know what that is. And the white frosting looking stuff in there uh, definitely has some cleanup needed on aisle too. got some rust, lots of rust, um, but all the parts are here, I don't see anything missing, um, let's see how the dials are this turn, not pretty easy, not too bad, not too bad, okay, well we'll set this to midnight, Let's make sure the alarm is wound up here. Feels pretty wild. Turn the alarm on. And let's take it to midnight. I see why they call it the loud alarm. That definitely is a loud alarm. And it works. Great clock. Happy with it. Just a little disappointed with the, the dirt and rust and everything. I wonder if that will clean off. If that will clean off. Some of the stuff I may have to put on the lathe and clean out. But uh, get a little better looking at it. I like it. Alright. Clock number seven. Two more to go. Sorry. Clock number eight. Clock number eight. Two more to go. Again, it's off screen, sorry about that. Okay. Oh, guess what? Another loud alarm. I've got a whole collection of these. 
fix these up, part some of them out, and uh, give some away to friends and family. So this one appears to have all of the screws, um, including the top one. Uh, it doesn't feel like it's fully in, so it'll be interesting to figure out what's going on there. Uh, not missing anything in the back. That looks real good. Let's see how the okay, alarm is wound all the way up. Okay, time was not wound up. Let's see if she goes. Oh, she's ticking. She's ticking some. Maybe just a little. Uh, Clean up on it and she'll be good to go. All right, so let's set the alarm for five o'clock. There we go. And we'll advance the hands. The alarm is set. Let's take her up to five and see how the alarm sounds on this one. Pretty dirty on the inside, unfortunately. Alarm is set for 5 p.m. The uh, time is at about 4:40 p.m. and the alarm went off. So need some adjustment on that alarm here, but not too bad of a purchase. That's pretty good. Two more to go. Shall we guess West Clock Loud Alarm? It's probably right, but we'll see. investment from somebody I have no idea who it was. And I think I'm happy with it. Really hoping to get a chime arm in here. Let's see. Oh, this is another loud alarm. And they have plenty of loud alarms. I do like the style for her design. And it just looks uh just like the edges and everything of these guys. Oh, so I already see a problem with this one. I'll start from the front. Um, pretty nice dial. I love the skeleton hands. Um, pretty good looking clock. Um, paint is obviously chipping off, but that's not a big deal. The, this isn't pushed in all the way, I can tell you. The bottom of the clock is not even with the top, so this probably needs loosened and that tightened in a little bit. Which, yeah, I guess it, I was wondering if it caused the plastic to or the glass to be a problem. Um, but one of the issues with this clock is it's also missing. The alarm is set for 7:30, and the clock says roughly 7:50. So, a uh, little adjustment there, but this seems to be working. So, I want to make the time. Okay, well, it ticks for a few, but then it stops. So, looks like that one needs service as well. And a little bit of paint. She's, she's losing paint already. Okay, so let's uh, to our final clock. The final clock right here. What is it going to be? Hopefully not another loud alarm. I think I have, I don't know, five or six loud alarms in here. Okay. They package these well, I will say. I'm pretty impressed. screw, two screw, three screws. So we have all the case screws. Um, this one says H, sorry, 
48H on the, on the underneath there. And we are not missing anything but the pole arm. I mean, people must really like to yank those alarms uh, knobs off of there. That's a bummer. Let's see how the winding is. That's fully wound. But the time is winding. And I think that started this year. I had to give it a little coax there to get her started. And I don't think she's still going. Let's see. Nope, she stopped. Okay, so there's a little TLC on there. Probably need some cleaning. But uh, yeah, overall, nice looking clock. I'm going to go ahead and try the alarm out. So it's set to midnight. There's the alarm pulled on. Yes, it's one of those now. Here we go. Does the alarm work? Just heard it click. The alarm did not work. So, bummer. It's a loud alarm that doesn't alarm at all. Interesting. Okay, well, let's line these up in, uh, in the order that I kind of like them. And uh, we'll see what we think. I'll pause it for just a minute. Okay, friends. So it's uh, darn near 1 a.m. Time for me to get to bed. Uh, but I want to kind of give a rundown of how successful I was with that order. So um, this was not part of the order. It is one of my favorite clocks. Uh, this one, I just did a video on changing the grommets, which seems a bit mundane. But uh, I thought it would be helpful because, you know, there's a lot of videos on fixing clocks, but not very many of them did the simple, uh, you know, cleaning out and doing the grommets. So I thought that'd be helpful. So my favorite, I think, is this West clock. Is this a sleep meter? Let's see. One sec here. Get the light over on you. If I, oh, no, that's a West Clocks America. That one again, sorry about my hands being in the way. This one again, I bid up to almost 70 bucks on this earlier today and lost out. Little did I know, I had one in my order that came through. So this one's a really cool clock. I can't wait to get it cleaned up. This one here, it is a loud alarm. Um, I like it because it's pretty dirty. I don't like that. I'm kind of looking forward to doing some cleaning on it, just getting it all cleaned up a little bit. But I'll leave that dial the way it is. I like that that dirt that dial in there. Um, and then of course clean the interior and get it all uh, working nicely. I like uh, I like this lot alarm. I like the white face. I like the uh, the uh, skeleton hands. Cool clock. Very cool clock. This one here, uh, again, this is uh, the style I like. I think this is called Style 4. Um, it is uh, got the luminous um, radium, um, so that's pretty cool. I can break that up and sniff it later tonight. Um, and then I have all of these. These are all loud alarms, looks like all from the same period. Um, some are better than others. And uh, I think I put my worst shape clock in the front here. Well, my worst shape clock would probably be this guy. But um, this one, I don't know what I'm going to do about some of the details it has issues with. But uh, anyway, this was super fun. I have 10 clock. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So he delivered my 10 clocks. And uh, I, I think I got the value that I was... I, was expecting. Um, I didn't realize I got so many duplicate clocks in, uh, in this style, and I am disappointed in this one. This one definitely doesn't have the... Sorry, let's move it in the light. This one definitely doesn't have the original hands in it. I mean, there's, there's no way. There's no way that was the original. So, 
bummer. Um, but you know, you can harvest stuff out of this or maybe just uh, clean it up and put it back on the market and let someone else enjoy it. So anyway, that was my first unboxing video. I've got two more that I want to do here in the next three or f uh, four days. So I got a couple more clocks coming in. One of them's going to be really cool. So looking forward to that. Oh, it is now 1 a.m. officially time for me to get to bed because I have another 12-hour day of work tomorrow. Have a good one. Take care.